Boston Dynamic has made quite a name for themselves in the robotics industry. They have made some pretty cool stuff that can do pretty cool things. They regularly share videos of their new creations, showing off what they can do. Boston Dynamic's latest robot video shows its five-foot humanoid robot has moves like Simone Biles, Atlas. This robot that the company calls a humanoid robot is pretty big and looks like a person. It is five feet tall and weighs 190 pounds and has some incredible features. It has an onboard battery and RGB cameras with built-in depth sensors and not one or two, but three built-in computers. It is pretty heavy and big, but still this thing can move. It is actually pretty unbelievable. They've posted videos as they have been working with new Atlas robots, training them and programming them to do these really incredible stunts. In the first video, the first video they released showed the Atlas robot jumping and jogging and just generally moving amazingly well. It is pretty incredible to see. The future is now, people. It was pretty awesome. The robot ran along a balance beam, flipping and jumping, doing parkour. In the videos, the Atlas robot is doing a whole obstacle obstacle course, jumping and grabbing things and all sorts of tricks that I can tell you I sure can't do. He was doing parkour and jumping and hanging and just generally being super cool. If one robot doing some super cool stuff isn't enough for you, then how about two? The video went on to show two of these incredible robots doing parkour in synchronized movements. The synchronized routine that the two robots did included spins and turning and even some flips and spins. The scientists started working on the synchronized parkour routine about two weeks before they put the robots together. The video they posted was the first time filming them together. Doing such a difficult sequence of moves while balancing on uneven surfaces will help the robot to learn to multitask. Does it always work? No. The robots actually crash a lot. They don't just magically learn how to do all these incredible moves. Unlike sci-fi shows, they also don't just learn miraculously by themselves. It takes a lot of incredibly smart people to get the robots to work. It takes months to get them to do the smallest moves. The team has said that it might still take years for the Atlas robot to reach its full potential. It is going to be something really special by the time that it is finished. But for now, the videos of them failing is pretty funny to see. It looks like one of those super adventurous, big budget action movies blooper reels where the action hero falls over. It's actually hilarious and really funny to watch. It's almost as funny as it is impressive in the clips where they're doing it right. Like the Atlas Controls lead has said, they push these moves to the limits and keep trying to get the robot to do better and more impressive stunts. It's like an athlete or a gymnast who trains hard and keeps pushing the boundaries of what he or she can do. Someone like Simone Biles surely didn't get to where she is by being afraid or taking the easy way out. These engineers and scientists don't either. But what if the robot gets damaged? Then they fix it. It, at least most of the time. In one behind the scenes video, they show the robots that did get damaged by falling or running into things, or for whatever reason. They look pretty messed up. But these are the people they designed and created these machines. I mean, who knows better how something works than its creator? When the machines come in with a fault, they try to fix them. Like they said, sometimes it looks like a major fault, and then it turns out that it is a simple fix. Other times it looks pretty easy, and then it can take weeks to get to the bottom of what is really causing the problem. These aren't simple computers. They're complex and complicated. The issues they encounter might not be simple either. They find the mistake and fix them, and soon they are up and running and back to being challenged. It all seems pretty futuristic. The designers and programmers run these courses themselves, and then they program these humanoid robots to be able to have the same mobility as actual humans have. But what is the point of all of this? Initially, these Atlas robots were created for certain search and rescue tasks. But as the robots have advanced, there are so many more options and avenues of potential opening up. Just imagine what a robot with the skills and the dexterity of Atlas could do. He could go into places and situations that are too dangerous for humans to go into, places where there is no other option but for people to risk their lives going in. It could explore areas that are beyond our reach for various reasons, like areas where natural disasters have happened, but things are still too unstable 
difficult for humans to risk going into. They could also go into places where things like gas are present and turn off valves without having to risk human lives. Some have even said that it might be a great tool in defensive or offensive warfare, but the Department of Defense has said that they have no interest in using it for their own purposes. The robot has been put through a number of tests to ensure that it can do the job that it needs to do. Atlas was able to drive a utility vehicle. If need be, he can go off-road to go into hard-to-reach places. The humanoid can remove debris that blocks rubble that stopped him from being able to enter. Then he could open the door and enter. He can also climb ladders and turn valves for water on and off. The sky is really the limit on what these robots would be able to be used for, and the more they're taught, the better they will learn. Boston Dynamics The company behind these awesome creations was originally part of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Then they spun off from the Institute and became the engineering and robotics design company who is doing the work of creating these phenomenal pieces today. The company changed ownership recently and is now owned by the Hyundai Motor Group. This change of ownership might mean more funding for their projects in the future. They have a lot of other robots that are just as cool. Spot. This dog-like robot is the first creation from Boston Dynamics that would have been made commercially available. They seem to have decided against this move for a while, and they have rather leased the robots out to certain partners. The four-legged robot only weighs about 55 pounds, but the little robot is pretty agile and has been an asset in many different situations. He is the quietest robot that the company has built, and as such, they have worked with law enforcement to install these robots into certain units. For example, the Massachusetts State Police are the first department to use the Spot Mini as a robot cop, and the little robot has also been used in the Bomb Squad. Then they made its SDK available for everyone so that programmers could use the robot and customize it in all sorts of different applications. In 2020, they made the Spot available to be purchased by the general public for a hefty price tag, of course. But videos of what Spot can do did not have the same effect on the public as videos of Atlas had. The videos of Spot showed one Spot opening the door for another robot. The only problem was that he continued to try and open the door even when humans tried to interfere. He just kept going. People watching these videos said that they found Spot creepy and that the video reminded them of sci-fi movies, the ones where the robots start to get minds of their own and won't stop their missions to seek and destroy no matter what cost. When put like that, it does seem a bit creepy, but with all the good they seem to be doing, the creepiness factor might just be worth it. Stretch. I have mixed feelings about this one. It is created to work in warehouses and make operations much faster. It can work in any warehouse that already exists, and it is flexible enough to be installed in any type of warehouse. They don't even need to install any extra infrastructure to allow the robot to work in these buildings. They can lift heavy objects without any problem. All around, they seem to be really great for businesses and production speed. The only problem for me is whether or not that will mean that they will take people's jobs away from them. If this is a tool to help people who work in factories, then it is great. It can help lighten the load and make the work go faster without them needing to do any of the heavy lifting that makes factory work so hard and labor intensive. In that case, I am all for it, as long as humans don't completely get cut out of the equation. These Boston Dynamics robots are really incredible, and Atlas is the best one so far. Who knows what they will be able to come up with next?